In this video, we're going to take a look at Undo's live recorder integrated into Jenkins. We'll be using the new Blue Ocean front end, which gives us some neat visualizations and interactions. This page shows the familiar old UI, but now let's try Blue Ocean. Here we have a single project, which uses the well-known LibUV as an example. Let's force a build of the project. Now we can open the build we just kicked off and take a quick look at what's happening. This pipeline visualization shows us that the library is building and we're about to enter a parallel set of pipes to run the test suite. A couple of tests fail, so our Jenkins will automatically rerun those tests under Live Recorder. And we're done. Let's take a look at our artifacts. Here you can see that for each of the failed test recordings, we have an undo widget. If we click on one, we get a new tab in which the recording is loaded up in the undo debugger. In this case, we're using a terminal emulator to serve up the Emacs integrated version. On the left, we also have a list of events, including system calls. Scrolling down, let's pick one that might be interesting. A click on that pipe to call takes us to the point in the recording where the call was made, and we can explore from there. First, we unwind the stack to a higher level to get some context. Eventually, we get all the way back to the task loop running the test. Here we can see the task pointer running backwards as we unwind the task loop. Everything looks in order here. Let's replay the rest of the recording to the point of failure. In this case, we've put in an artificial assert, but in a real example, we could iterate backwards from this point to determine what led to the failure. Going back to Jenkins, we can alternatively download the recording to send off to a developer or analyze in some other environment. Thank you for watching. If you would like to learn more, please visit our website at undo.io.